Hi, this is Kevin with KGMGM, owner of Pro Advertisers Club. It's totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com and join for free today and start advertising for free. Okay, did not make a video yesterday. I rested my ECR or uh, my capture rate, which didn't do a whole lot because I'm only up to 47. I was down to like 20 something, I think. I did get 11 chests yesterday. I was able to play in the morning and in the evening. Uh, about an hour before it clicked, but this is also a better time for me to make videos. So uh, I'm going to try to keep it between nine and ten, if possible. So the faster I go claim these, the better. So let's go do that. And then I got some info for you and the numbers, and that will be it. Also, my headset's broken, so I'm trying to talk soft. Uh, the speaker on the Chromebook tends to really be loud oh my gosh 800 dark energy crystals nice that's a first good chest and a card okay and a potion and a gold love gold and another potion another potion another 72 dark energy crystals a, a new rewards card 80 dark energy crystals Another card. Another card. Nice. Nice pull today. Uh, this is going to, this is will help out with my rental. Um, as you, I've been battling so much that my DEC, even though with the rentals, actually went up. And I'll show you what I run it if it's, if I still got it. They haven't been sent back yet. So that was a very nice pull. All right, so let's go to rent it to me, see what I got left. Okay, I had more than this, but I, I, this guy I love. The tra he just tramples. I always put him on the tank. She's not too bad, but very cheap. So I went with her on the uh, summoner. But this card, I don't know if you're aware of it. I, I put him on the very back end. And he would just sit back there and wail, and um, and with his his increased chance of evading melee range attacks, I, I think he was the difference in a lot of battles. Uh, it's the water elemental, and he's only five mana, and I was able to run him very cheap. Uh, so you might want to check him out. Uh, I'm up to three thousand ninety eight DC. I haven't rented it yet for the next. Which let's go see what it is. Uh, it's life, and I ha I like life, so I'm going to do good in life, too. Um, I got 36 season-ending chests already, and not doing as good as other people, but I'm not complaining. The numbers are plummeting. Very, uh, almost $100 in the last day or two. And But look at my collection powers, 164022 It went up because... Why I put in my ten dollars yesterday, and look what I was able to buy. I was able to get not one but two rare, maxed out reward cards, and they might not even be max. Yeah, they're both reward cards, but they're both maxed out. And one was five dollars and thirty cents. The other one was four dollars fifty five. But I was able to get both for under 10 bucks. That's incredible. I will buy these all day long. You're talking a penny and a half in the box. And that's just, I, you can't get any cheaper. I don't think if they do three for 10 would be nice. If it ever goes that low, I will be buying them. So that's the beauty of dollar cost averaging. Let's go look at the numbers. Oh, here's um, a YouTube comment from yesterday. I was watching uh, Infidel, uh, Dwayne Cunningham's video and he, I was getting confused because he kept saying he got 60 chests for the day so I said how are you getting 60 a day when the max is 30 and we then come up uh, replied for him he's counting the EOS chest too okay and but what I also realized because I watched the video again is he's got multiple accounts and um Multiple accounts are a great idea, but I just ain't got the time with the one I got. So I'm I'm personally sticking to my one account, but multiple accounts can be very beneficial, and I can see why. 
So let's go look at the strategy. There's the 30 chess daily max, 150 end of season. But again, if you got multiple accounts, you, there's no limit. I guess if you got 10 accounts, that would be a thousand. I guess it comes down to how much time you got to maintain all those accounts. Uh, gold cards, of course, will help. Um, love the 24 hour focus, rent out powerhouse. Uh, okay, online, uh, go check out Bulldog 1206, Infidel 12, or Dwayne Cunningham. I think it, he says his name is that, but he shows that. But I think he has several YouTube channels. Uh, Luke plays to earn, walking keys and gank, gathering the magic. He just uh, started. Yeah, go subscribe to him, watch him, and like him. Uh, he does a uh, every day shows you what he got in his daily uh, focus chest. And then also go to Spoonance TV on Twitch and weekly AMA every Monday. Uh, all these will keep, and there's more. There's I'll put more down as I learn about them. But um, so there's that. So let's go to the 10,000. So it's the 9th of June. Here's the rules I go by day 158. I put in the $10 yesterday. This dollar cost averaging has been fantastic. Absolutely powerful. And then these are all the numbers you can stop for any day. Uh, this, yesterday was the second day I missed. And yesterday was on purpose. The day before I was traveling. And I was just too tired to do it. But June 9th, 22. So see how it plummeted from 1,020 all the way down to 910 in the last four days? 168 cards, 56, 59 in the box. That's from buying those two maxed out. Look at my collection power, 164.22, 88 on the free SPS, which has come down, $86 profit. And now, of course, I got more SP or uh, DEC. But um, this this profit has come way down because the price is happened. But it, it fluctuates. My all-time low was $50, negative $50 profit. And... Then it pumped back up, and that's probably what's going to happen again. I might go down to zero again, the way things are going, which that's good because tomorrow when I buy in, I'll get even better deals. Uh, that's the beauty of dollar cost averaging. So what else did I want to look at real quick, and then we'll call it a day. The um, I did get a sign up yesterday, but he hasn't done anything, not even with the free cards. No battles, no nothing. I mean, this guy's disappeared, Ronnie 500. So I don't know if the he joined just as they were switching over to the new system. And I don't know why they did this. You used to be able to see all of them, but now you got to go nine pages deep to see all your signups. But it is what it is. And also, they changed something, if you noticed. Um, I think they changed it like a day or two ago. The stats are now on the side instead of underneath the card. So let's go take a look. Owned. And we'll just pick this guy. Yeah, see how they're on the side? They used to be underneath. And then you'd scroll up. But now they're, which I guess the more cards you add. So let's go to, well, actually, let's go burn. Let's go to gold. Burning is my favorite thing to do. And what was the gold card I got? I think it was this guy. Yeah, it was him. I got him today. Um, look at how cheap that is, though. You can get one for under 50 cents. But gold cards is definitely the way. I got him maxed out on the gold, too. That's a very powerful low mana gold card but anyway i think that's going to be it for today um please like and subscribe join any of the links below it really helps out and just a thought before i leave about why i love splinter lands is that all these different strategies that we talk about they um it's not that anything's right or wrong it's what 
you what is good for you, whoever you are, period. Um, some things will work for other people, you know, scheduling, how much time do you have, how much money you got, um, which route you want to go, do you want to invest, do you want to play the game more. What I love about Splinterlands is they accommodate everybody, no matter which way you want to go. You don't have to play the game. You can just invest or collect. Maybe you're just a collector. Maybe you just want to collect the cards and hold on to them for a very long time. Uh, maybe you want to do all of it. That's pretty much where I'm at right now. I'm doing a little bit of everything, which slows it down, uh, kind of. Um, I want to get, I love renting out. I want to build up my DEC. And um, the only way I'm going to do that is, well, I can win it in the chest, of course. And then, but I have a lot of cards that I'm not using. I should be running out right now. And I'm going to get back into that because from what I understand, the power ranking is going to change. You're going to need half of what you need now to be in any level, which that will free up a lot of cards to rent if that's the case. And I think it starts next season, which will be the second major change that has happened in as many seasons. The other, um, the other thing is, uh, well, I'm I'm done. I gotta go. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.